So apparently, Vitalik is a thief, a criminal. No, I really don't think that. But many members of the Cardano community are, are up in arms about a recent blog post that was done by Vitalik, accusing him of stealing ideas from Cardano. Now, here's the thing, guys. It's like I've said before. If someone has a good idea, people are going to try to use it and expand upon it. So what I'm talking about here is he's talking about bringing back Plasma, which was a scaling solution that was first introduced in 2017. The resurgence is attributed to technological enhancements, particularly in the realm of zero knowledge snarks, a form of cryptography that enhances security and efficiency. So Plasma was initially set aside in favor of roll up technology and it faced challenges in a client side data storage and adaptability. So his new proposal suggests that these limitations could be overcome, making Plasma a viable solution once again. So what he is proposing is extending this technology to EVM using a parallel UTXO graph for ETH and ERC-20 tokens, simplifying the complexities associated with account-based systems. Sounds kind of familiar, right? Cardano uses a UTXO model. So what people are saying is that Ethereum is replicating idea from Cardano's Hydra, the layer two scaling solution. Charles Hoskinson himself has even uh, accused Ethereum of borrowing ideas. And again, guys, there's always going to be this, this borrowing ideas, utilizing stuff that other people have built to better your technology. We're doing it as well, right? Using, uh, what is it, uh, Polygon's model in, in terms of the side chains, right? There's, there's an exchange of ideas in the space. And really now, it just turns into a race. The race is on. Who is going to get to market first? Well, we're already to market, so we already have that going for us. But who's going to do it better as well? right? Cardano already has things set in place. And how long is it going to take Ethereum to actually build and utilize this out to, to implement it in the proper way? Do I think it's going to happen in six months when the Bitcoin halving is here and the market is beginning to rally and we're in the bull market already? No, it's going to take time. Developments do take time. And by that time, the flaws with the Ethereum model are already going to be exposed. We saw during meme season the what gas fees were doing, right? They were already getting close to somewhere between $50 to $100 again. What do you think that's going to be in an actual bull market? We're at the Bitcoin halving. People are going to be heading for the hills. They're going to be heading for other chains. That's how, that, how Cardano gets adoption from inside the space. Not to mention the launch of other possible stable coins in the ecosystem. Maybe we eventually get a USDC adoption. That kind of remains to be seen, but I don't like... Obviously, them trying to rip off Cardano's model because Cardano is obviously um, leaps and bounds ahead of what anybody else is doing. But I also want to reiterate that just because Ethereum is stealing this one part of Cardano, it doesn't mean that they have a better model. Yes, they have more users. Yes, this is a big part of, of some of the scalability of Cardano, but it doesn't capture the whole essence of what Cardano is and what they're doing behind the scenes. So. I appreciate you guys. I want to hear your thoughts on this. I want to hear if you think that this is a problem, if you think that this is a big nothing burger, but hope you guys enjoyed the video. Show your support below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.